Next one is this. If you are a single parent, how do you handle both roles, mom and dad? Yeah. You want me to do it? Yeah. You don't. <laughs> um, you know, that's, that's what marriage is, right? It's the, it's the two becoming one flesh and raising a family, and, and there's reasons why God did it. And um, the, the it being marriage. There's a reason why God made marriage. And so it's the reason why God hates divorce, um, because you, you, you can't do it. And so usually when I'm talking to a single mom, um, the encouragement is typically she's either going to be the provider or she's going to be the nurturer, the raiser of kids, and, and she's going to have to pick. And so um, <clears throat> there's some ways to kind of alleviate some of that a little bit. Maybe, you've, um, maybe you know, single moms might go live with mom and dad. Um, and so there's some provision help there. Or maybe there's even some um, raising there that's helped. And so, um, so part of the answer is you can't do it without help. Um, and so uh, hopefully it's family um, and maybe it's uh, other relatives or, or friends or, or something like that, but you do need help. Um, I've had a lot of kids in my youth group that, um, that they were from single moms or even dads actually. Um, and they're sending kids, and um, I've, I've had a lot of them come up and just thank me over the years because that was, I, I was their extension. Um, and so you, uh, the reality is, is that you can't do it on your own. Um, and so neither one of us could. There's no way that we could raise kids on our own. It's, it, you're going to do one or the other. And so through prayer um, and some uh, reality of asking for help, um, uh, you work out a plan and find out how to do that. Um, I don't know unless you got some. I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking exactly the important point. Pro tip of what Matt said is that if you are a single parent, uh, you have the Lord, and the Lord does take over in those areas in ways that He He just covers for us because mm -hmm. He's a loving Father. But to Matt's point, if you're a single mom, I highly encourage you to get a godly father figure in that young man's life, especially in the world we live in today. So our job, Matt, Matt's a high school pastor. Uh, it's been really interesting doing counseling. Is uh, I've been counseling young kids, and I think it's because they don't have dads and they're in this situation. But our job as Christian men is to disciple the boys in such a way that they grow up to love the Lord as men. And it's there's an encouragement to wives is that they're, a godly woman is supposed to train the younger wives up in the way that they should go and how to love their husbands. And so to, to, to Matt's point is that you have, you, if you're a mom, you are built in the way that God designed you as a woman. You cannot play the role of a father because you're not a father, but God will cover you. Yeah. And the fellowship, the koinonia that you have in the church, it's like bring him into a youth group where he can get the father figures that aren't in his life yet. And then I would be praying for a dad or be praying for a, a mom to come in. You know, I know that's situational dependent and age dependent and all that stuff, so. And, you know, one of the issues that we've dealt with on that too is, you know, should I make my kid go to youth group even if they don't want to? And, you know, I, I respond with, well, do you make your kid go to school if they don't want to? Do you make them go to work if they don't want to, right? And it's just an obedience thing and it's, um, it's it's needed for them and so i uh, especially i mean we're just commanded to be in fellowship anyway but especially if if you're single um the body of christ is what we do we come around and and we build each other up and, and nourish each other and encourage each other and so you really need to be in fellowship especially if you're a single parent and so uh my dad passed when i was like 21 so i grew up with him but he didn't he wasn't a believer till way late in life. So he's not teaching me the word of God. You know, he's struggling with alcoholism. He has all this stuff that's bringing garbage into our lives. The first father figure I had was the guys here teaching the word mm -hmm. where I walked in and it's like, these guys know the Lord and they know the word. And that was the influence, you know, for a young 20 year old that I needed. So there's a whole thing in that. Anyway, I'm yeah. so boxing that. Anything else you want to say on that? Okay. Wonderful.